Good morning. Today is, uh, what is today? November 19th. It's about noon. So what we're going to do today on a 1G is install a fuel fitting that is a check valve that I found for about $30 at Jegs. The reason why we're doing this is because most 1Gs have the same exact problem where the old style wall bros and other fuel pumps that if this thing would focus, that'd be great. There we go. After a while, your fuel pressure goes to zero. So what we're gonna do right now is activate the fuel pump without the check valve fitting and see what happens. I already got link set up on that. So what we'll do is uh, activate the fuel pump here. You can hear it running. I just heard it override the uh, fuel pressure regulator. And we'll stop it. So we're about right where I had it set. 37. No, that would be 30. And you can see it's already dropping. So therein lies our problem. Looks like it's holding a little bit at 30 and a half, dropping to 30. So what I'm going to do is time this, see how long it takes to get to zero. Then we'll install the check valve, and then we'll be well, back. It was actually taking a little longer than I thought. So what I did was I unplugged the fuel pump connector and cranked it over a few times. So if you want to know where that is, you'll see this connector right here, back left of your uh, hatch. Just unplug that. I have a uh, my battery box here. My fuel pump is rewired with the relay. It goes directly to one of the powers here there was almost an accident right there all right so we're back on powers back up fuel pump uh, fuel pressure is at zero if this stupid piece of crap would focus in there we go all right so it took me a whole uh, minute to get the um, the fitting installed which is right here so it's this, this length right here. As you can see, it's this conical shaped piece. So my setup went to there. Your other option is with the um, Fuel Lab filter. They have one with an integral check valve, but that's about $160 from Extreme PSI. That fitting there was, uh, I don't know, like 32 shipped from JEGS. So we'll go ahead and activate the fuel pump again. I can hear it running, I can hear it pressure up. Let's see what happened. Looks like my base fuel pressure set at 32-ish. 30, 32, 32. It's dropping ever so slightly, huh? It's stuck there at 32. So about four minutes in, without the check valve, it was at, at 21, it stayed at 21 until about eight minutes, I shut off the timer and said screw it, make sure nothing's leaking here, this looks good, nice and dry, don't want to over tighten anything, it's mostly aluminum stuff there. Just a hair under 30 now. 28 and a half. A little over 28. Now we've also heard that the uh, fuel lab diaphragms were shitty from the factory down to 28. So if it's bypassing the fuel lab diaphragm, it's possible I have one of those bad diaphragms. Well, I'll investigate some more and see what happens. Now, this is pretty neat. I decided to just run it and, and video it while the pump is running. So I'm at like a pretty rock steady 40 PSI. 
And if you listen real close, you can hear the fuel bypassing the check valve. Almost sounds like a motor running. Almost that's it going through the through the filter there. So nothing's leaking. So my base fuel pressure, I have it like right at 40. Maybe there was some air in the line. Let's see what happens now when I shut it off. All right, so without the pump, it's, it does definitely drop. We're just watching it. Go right past 30, down to 28. 27, or 26, I mean. I mean, the car runs fine. I just didn't want the fuel pressure to drop to zero. So I might have one of those crappy diaphragms everybody talks about with the fuel lab. I wonder if I had an aeromotive FPR, if this would be any different. 